Ever since I was a little kid, I have dreamed of owning a real life size replica of a Ghostbusters proton pack. And nearly 40 years later, Hasbro has helped fulfill that dream. <laughs> this is so awesome! As a kid, props for movies would always capture my imagination, like a lightsaber from Star Wars, or a hoverboard from Back to the Future, or a time machine from Back to the Future, really anything from Back to the Future. But the one prop that captured my attention and imagination the most was the Ghostbusters Proton Pack. All of the lights, wires, cables, and switches contained within a really cool backpack package, as well as this crazy blasting gun was so freaking cool as a kid. The Kenner Real Ghostbusters Roleplay Proton Pack was a staple in my childhood. The second I got that thing, I used it and wore it all the time for years, probably beyond the point when it was socially acceptable for me to wear one. But I would have given anything to have a real deal, authentic Proton Pack. I had high hopes that the Matty Collector prop replicas would have helped me achieve my dream, but that never happened. I had high hopes again when Hasbro unveiled a replica of Spangler's Neutrona wand from the upcoming Ghostbusters Afterlife movie at New York Toy Fair in 2020. Then in October of 2021, Hasbro unveiled the thing we had all been hoping for, an actual replica proton pack. And while it did not include the Neutrona one, you had to buy that separately, and it was a HasLab, which meant it had to reach a certain amount of backers before it went into production, the fact that it was a full-scale, accurate replica to the proton pack seen in Ghostbusters Afterlife, and the fact that it was $400, an absolute steal compared to the thousands of dollars that a custom-made pack would cost, made this set an absolute dream for those that had always wanted a movie-accurate proton pack. The HasLab was an absolute success, getting nearly 20,000 backers, unlocking all of its tiers, and now a little over a year after the backing window closed, people's proton packs are being delivered on their doorsteps, including mine. Starting with the packaging, this thing is absolutely massive, and if you've had HasLabs before, you know I think just about all of them are fairly large packages. But this one is so much fun. It actually recreates a steel chest that you could absolutely see Egon storing away his proton pack in. But where this thing truly shines is in its unboxing experience. It recreates the cool floor tile puzzle that we saw in Ghostbusters Afterlife. Unlocking that floor panel opens up to showcase the Class 2 Two unlocked here, which gave us some sweet marshmallow goo, as well as different decoed plasma series mini puffs, which are the exact same molds as the retail release, but these have this nice roasted marshmallow effect. The mini puffs are contained within a replica of a trap, and then the marshmallow goo attachments are in this fun, phantasmical samples box. Fully lifting that top panel has the greatest showcase and experience of this unboxing, and that is the actual Proton Pack. I've waited nearly 40 years for this moment and it feels like Hasbro knew it for all of us because that first moment when you look at that Proton Pack in this box was such a special moment. Underneath the Proton Pack we had additional tier unlocks, the Class 1 Classic Bundle that gave us the hose attachment to connect our Spangler's Neutrona wand and the 84 accurate decals. We also got the Class 3 unlock which was the Spangler Special which includes sticker sheets as well as Egon's journal. And, you know, at first I thought, oh, that's a neat little throw in. It actually details different props beyond just the Proton Pack. But really, as you go through the journal, it fills in a lot of the details on what happened in between the last Ghostbusters film and Ghostbusters Afterlife. There are a lot of interesting facts that I found fascinating, and maybe I'll do another video in the future diving into those. The last tier unlocked is contained on this level as well, the Class 4 Supernatural Stand. It looks heavy duty but it's fairly light plastic but it does its job well and I'm really glad that it's included in this set. And the same is true for a lot of these tiers that were unlocked with this Proton Pack HasLab. I'm glad we unlocked all of these tiers because if we didn't this would have really lessened the overall value of this set. Something that I should have known but completely forgot about was the fact that this thing needs batteries, and not just any batteries, D batteries. I can't remember the last time I needed those gigantic paperweights. 
Of course, there was none to be found in my house, so I had to run over to Target to buy a set. Once I had those 4D batteries, it was time to put this Proton pack together, and it was a fairly simple process. The battery panel is on the inward facing side of the pack, accessible by two Phillips screws. The real metal ion rod attaches without any screws. The pack's power switch is located beneath that rod, just like in the movies. The secret storage container seems a lot smaller than when they initially showed us the prototypes of this pack, but I don't think it's that big of a deal it's a neat little add-on there the volume control is incorporated into that little crank at the top of the pack and these switches to control the rumble effect as well as the classic and afterlife display modes are inside the cyclotron i thought it was so cool how phoebe spangler and ghostbusters afterlife opened up the cyclotron and we got to see inside it for the first time this HasLab pack allows you to do the exact same thing she did in the movie. You can, you know, take out little nodules, remove that big cylinder in the middle. Honestly, as a lifelong Ghostbusters diehard, this was such a fun experience, and my kids thought it was awesome as well. I thought it was really neat that they added the rumble switch as well as the classic mode or afterlife mode switch inside the cyclotron to make it feel like an authentic part of the pack. Now, you could turn on just the Proton pack but really what everyone is going to want to do with this set is add your Egon's Neutrona wand to the pack. Connecting the hose to the pack and Neutrona wand was a fairly easy experience. It was a little bit of a pain to try and make sure the threads were lined up to the electronic connecting points on the pack side but connecting the Neutrona wand was fairly simple. You just got to remove the existing battery housing and then attach the hose to the wand that kind of has a little connector that takes the place of the battery pack and I don't know how they did it but when you attach the Neutrona wand to the proton pack with that hose you can actually turn on the pack from the Neutrona wand itself it's a really neat feature once the pack was all put together I really got to sit this thing on its display and take it all in and I was just overcome with emotion to actually have a real life size proton pack replica sitting in front of me a factory made nearly 20 20,000 of these things. But all of the wiring that they use, the paint effects that make it look like it's worn paint over metal, all of the real life items that prop makers, you know, threw on this thing to make it look cool were brought to life with sculpting and paint and manufactured engineering that a lot of times would make something that looked homemade in a movie look really fake in real life. But that's not true with this pack. Proton pack props in real life are notoriously heavy because of all the metal and real world materials that were used to make those packs. But the brilliance of this HasLab Afterlife pack is it looks like the real deal, but since it's made out of mostly plastic, it's actually fairly light. So this is something that you can cosplay and you can go to conventions and, and not have it kill your back after wearing it for any extended period of time. And that's not the only thing this pack pulls off incredibly well. The lights and sounds are incredible. Not just because, you know, they look the part, but the fact that you can easily switch between the afterlife look as well as the original movie look is so cool. The fun features don't stop there. I really like that if you kind of mess with some of the wiring attachments to the cyclotron, it'll enact this little mini puff mayhem audio sequence that makes it seem like the mini puffs are, are messing up the proton pack, which if you've seen afterlife, that is directly from the movie. If you're a Hasbro Pulse premium member, you got a neat little perk if you backed within the first couple days of the campaign. Slime effects mold, it's very similar to the marshmallow effects that you got with the class three unlock. They were shipped in a separate box. Don't feel too bad if you missed out. I don't think it's the greatest add-on in the world. I'm thankful I have them, but you're not really missing anything if you don't. The last great feature of this set is that while it is a manufactured product, they kept prop makers and customizers in mind. This pack is easily moddable. You can make it even more realistic to a real Proton pack. I'll put a link here to gbfans.com. There's a lot of really cool recommendations to change your Proton pack to fit you better. And I also love that they added brackets so that you could add your own real life Alice frame to make the pack even more accurate. I'll also include a link to a GB Fans article that gives you different Alice frame options to purchase. I have an Alice frame ready to go, but I'll save that for another 
another video. But say you didn't even want to mess with the whole Alice frame thing, the straps that are included with this pack look pretty good. If you want to walk around cosplaying with this thing, uh, it works just fine. And if you're displaying this thing on its stand or a wall, you probably don't even miss having the Alice frame anyway. So it shouldn't be a shock to anyone that I absolutely adore this thing. I find myself just looking at it in my room in disbelief that I actually have a real replica Proton pack in my possession. And I can't help but feel immensely grateful to the Hasbro Ghostbuster team as well as Ghost Core for partnering so well with the Hasbro team for really allowing them to create an amazing replica that was reasonably priced. And now that we have it in hand, it's just has exceeded every expectation I could have for a toy company produced Proton Pack replica. If you'd like to keep watching, check out this video. And until next time, hasta luego and goodbye.